welcome, welcome, welcome back, family. It has been a long time. Welcome to the Reiki Healing Hope Community. A place to heal, relax, be yourself. Yes, update. I have officially lost a nail, so these are about to come off. Anyway, if you're new to the community, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. But most importantly, to comment because I'd love to hear what you're up to. I just ask you to comment for the highest vibrational good only to keep this a safe community that we all love coming back to. So let's go ahead and get started. Just coming in, just gonna do a nice relaxing session today. I feel like I feel like I'm working with a nub right here. So anyway, you should have saw my face. I was like, no. Uh. Okay, so just going in here, I'm going to go in with some Palo Santo, probably going to whip out some sage too, and just do a nice Vero aura cleaning. I was so, 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 so tired, so tired. I slept for a couple days, I was like, yep, that's exactly what I need right now. Sleeping, sleeping, sleeping. Oh. And more importantly, tomorrow is our energy healing circle. So if you have not signed up, sign up in the description box below and you will receive more information about that. Okay. Good job. Now I'm just going to go in and scan your body, see how you're doing. I'm also going to take a sip of my drink. Who does like a refreshing drink from time to time? Okay. Just breathe in and out here. I'm going to start with your crown. Let's see how you're doing. off right there. Dust your shoulders off. Okay, down to your heart. Your solar plexus. And then all the way down to your sacral. Into your room. And release. And what I want you to do is go ahead and take a deep breath in. And at the top of the inhale, hold it, tighten everything. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale. Let it go. Catch your breath here. We're going to do this two more times. Okay. Go ahead, take a deep breath in, filling all the way up. At the top of the breath, hold. Five, four, three, two, one. And then your final breath. Inhale all the way at the top of the breath. Holding it for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale. Releasing that down and just kind of let that air drip on down your body. Kind of like it's like a nice rainy day. But at the same time, it's like, you know, a little warm. So it's not like you're out here. It's like, eh, it's storming. It's like. It's like a cool rain on a summer day. You're like, you know what? I needed that. I needed that for the pollen. I needed that for the heat. It's like the sidewalks are just soaking it up. And I'm just going on a tangent. <laughs> so, as you continue to breathe here, I'm just going to go in. Just around your aura. Some sage. I'm going to do some more housework in my own home so the sage has been whipped out i always love to use sage when cleansing the house because it is so powerful it's one of those things that's really good at moving energy and moving it out and it's a cleansing and clarity 
And I think Palo Santo is really good at changing your internal vibrations, really good at mastering the removal of negativity. And it's just so convenient. You can like put this in your pocket and it's going to stay intact. You put this in your pocket and you're not going to have no leaves left, okay? It might be a stick if you have that. So, and this smells delicious and lovely. Of course, you can love the smell of sage. But Palo Santo has this very spicy, very fall, very cinnamony kind of smell. And those are all the smells that I love. Like, my cinnamon addiction used to be to the next level. Like, when I was younger, I loved cinnamon I love mint. It was just, it was too much. It, it really was too much. I had to take a chill pill. Oatmeal. I don't know why I like the oatmeal so much. I don't really drink, drink. I don't really, literally, I used to drink it. I don't really eat oatmeal now. Random. If that gives any uh, validation for you. <laughs> oatmeal. <laughs> okay. And so I'm going to just take this sage and I'm going to go behind you. I'm going to do a different one. I'm going to go behind you and allow that to represent your past of letting it go. Okay. Letting it go. Removing it. Cutting it. The tethers of the past. And being present in the now, the present, future talked about in yoga before when you do your warrior two your virapatrasana two you know that one where you're like standing out like that well your arms your front arm represents your future your back arm represents your past and you are right in the middle so you don't want to be leaning in the past because that's going to cause depression that's going to be like you're stuck in the past you don't want to be too leaning into the future because that's going to cause anxiety for the things you can't control. You want to be in the present. But even more than that, the present future, you want to be co-creating every moment of your life. You want to see the future that you want and you want to go in and utilize your energy now to create the perfect environment for said Just gonna comb over your aura. Just take a couple of breaths here. Having the most amount of patience with yourself, the most amount of love, the most amount of gratitude for life. Shout out to Affirmations for Gratitude because I have been gratituding it up and it feels great. Do you love life? Regardless of where you're at, do you love it? Can you make yourself fall in love with life each and every day to change your future regardless of where you are now? To change the future you, every step, every thought, every feeling you make today is the foundation for tomorrow. So can you master being in love with life? Instead of waiting, instead of the cause and effect, can you affect the cause? <laughs> it's that saying, I have to see it to believe it, but then in the energetic world, we're always like, you gotta believe it to see it. That every thought you have, every feeling, every kind of old habit that you've always been, these old patterns, it's very scientific. We are just, the older you get, we are just a string of patterns and behaviors so that we can kind of automatically just go through life and changing that in order to change our future and change our destiny or change our life. Whatever it is you want to change requires getting out of that pattern and it can be very uncomfortable because it requires work. Have you ever learned something new, learned an instrument, learned a sport, and you feel like you're like a little kid, you know, in the piano, like plucking it out and stuff. And the reality is, yes, you have to start at the beginning in order to change anything. 
It can be anything. It could be your health. It could be your money. It could be love. It could be family. It could be your passions. It could be your motivations. It could be your mental health, your physical health, all of these things. And being able to manifest in your life the right people to help you, professionals, as well as a community that makes you feel nice, safe, and rooted. So sending the greatest amount of nesting and just kind of nesting in your own creative babies or physical babies, 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 but just being in that energy and having yourself be nice and cozy. I felt like maybe that's what I was doing. I was cocooning. I was like, okay, well, I'm going to go and hibernate for a little bit. And I missed you all so much. I was like, I need to get up and go do something. And I was like, yeah, the way this sleep is working out, I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> and then, of course, going down the rabbit hole of YouTube ASMR. So. <laughs> okay. Releasing that and letting that go. Inhale. Exhale. Allowing that energy to follow, to flow, to do whatever it needs to do. Just removing it from your aura, removing the past. Bye bye past. And if there's ever any feelings of stuckness in your life, know that it is not just temporary, everything is temporary. But it is for a higher reason. So go in and really dive in deep into a meditation practice and discover what are you trying to learn? What is your soul trying to teach you? Because sometimes the hardest situations that you go in in life are one of the most developmental, the kind that makes you grow tremendously. Maybe if that even means just you're growing because you finally put down boundaries or you're growing because you're forced to have to see things from a new way and build something of a higher value. Whatever that is, go into it as best as you can with gratitude and just releasing. Like, I don't have to be this person that I've always been. I can be a new person. I don't have to pretend to be this other person. I can leave the book open. I can leave the doors open for whomever universe, God, source, or whatever you want to call it wants me to be and share that gift and that energy with others. How have you been doing these past couple of days? How's your weather? We've been having storms and then sun and then cold and then hot. All of those things. What's been coming up for you? Well, sending you the highest amount of energy, love, and luck. Okay. Well, family, I'm going to go in and clear us out. And remember, our live session is, it's a um, energy healing circle. So, it's different than Facebook Live. It's, I'm going to see you, you're going to see me, we're going to do whatever it is that we do with these things. <laughs> More of it's an opportunity for us to have a healing space as well as to talk and to get to know each other. The groups are generally much, much smaller. So everyone gets a turn. They get to share their experience, their journey. We can go through a healing process ourselves. And so those who are brave enough to come on, please feel free. Also, um, we miss all those who wish they could, but it's just too so, with so much love, so, so, so much love, we will be thinking of you. And if there's anything that you want us as a collective to pray for, to 
initiate a healing, go ahead and leave that in the comment section. Um, you can also send me an email, rickyhealinghope at gmail.com, and we can use that collective energy as well to pray for our community, to raise the vibrations in order to initiate our collective healing experience. So, just going to move that on out. Let that go. Seal with the sign of the infinity. And you are released. So, until next time, family. Don't touch your face. Wash your hands. And take care of yourselves. I love you, love you, love you. Cannot wait to see you tomorrow. So, until next time.